who ordered people to be shot and which branch of security services carried out the shootings? Well, I mean, from the footage that we could see, because there are cameras that are at that facility. Everyone sit down, sit down! It, it seems to be that there will be uh, men in military uniform which will be Nigerian in, uh, army or something. So you're saying that it was military officers who ordered peaceful protesters that's, to be shot at Lekki Yeah, that's what Lekki the pictures, Lekki. yes. They were there, that's what the footage, I mean, that's what it shows. Will that CCTV footage at the toll gate be part of the investigation that you have now called for? It will be, certainly it will be, it will be, and it's starting on Monday. They're going to be all, be available for, for the um, judicial panel to, to review, it will be. Do you commit to a full investigation of what happened on the ground? Absolutely, I do. And will people be held accountable? They certainly would. I mean, we'll do everything to ensure that they are held accountable. We'll do everything. It's a very simple question. Will they be held accountable? Well, I mean, to the extent that I'm not the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. I mean, I'm the Governor of the state. Right? The report will be out. We will channel the report to all the relevant authorities in the state to ensure that everyone that is found culpable is accountable for the act. It's 2017. They've been announcing that the, uh, the, the SARS unit has been disbanded. They announced in 2017, announced in 2018, announced in 2019. Now in 2020, they announced again. They just think we're stupid because you're literally just renaming this unit and expecting us to say, oh, yay, wow, that's great. The SARS, or Special Anti-Robbery Squad, has been described as nothing but a money-making terror squad with no accountability. Random, I've heard it described as vicious, I've heard it described as wholly set on extortion. This criticism will not be new to you, and in the past, the government has promised to scrap the group. On a you see someone, Lou? These guys, they are unbelievable. Truly unbelievable, see what he's saying. He was on the spot. Now he just exposed, revealed who was responsible for Lekki Togate shooting. Anyway, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching us from. Thank you once again for um, staying tuned. Thank you for your support, continuous, massive and huge support to this channel. We really appreciate you. God bless you, my people. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, someone Lu, he has confessed Initially, military said they were not there, they were not close, Burutai. My men were not there, they were not at the scene. Now, he openly confessed to CNN that uh, military men, they were responsible. From the footage, from the footage, uh, it's uh, military men that uh, were on ground that carried out the shooting. Now, he was asked, what will you do? Will they be brought to a book? We will do, you saw the way he was dancing. <laughs> CNN uh, uh, um, presenter. Post the question, what are you saying? Is that a yes or a no? Give us a definite. These guys, they don't know what they are into because international bodies, they are monitoring everything that is going on. Gone are those days when Nigerians are silent. Our voice will be heard, must be heard, is being heard everywhere now because right now, that was an interview with CNN that Samuel Lu openly confessed that they were men of the military because they were wearing military uniform but he was just turning here and there anyway my people will get into the news uh, uh, uh we'll get all of the details shortly but before we do guys please if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet show us some love my people do go ahead and give us a thumbs up click on the like button it really does mean a lot to us thank you once again and god bless you yes um, let's get into the news now and grab all of the details Despite Nigerian army's denier, Samuel Lu finally confesses to CNN on Lekki massacre. 20th of October 2020 is a day that will go down in history with Nigerian youth in few hours. It will be a week that the shooting in Lekki, Lagos, tagged as Lekki massacre happened. However, there are still lots of unanswered questions from what happened that day. Who gave the order is the most pressing question that is left to be answered. 
As soon as news broke out, that sad night, the Nigerian army denied their involvement in the massacre, even though video clips from that night shows that the shooters were fully dressed in the Nigerian army's uniform. There have been a lot of controversies on what happened that night as the number of casualties are not exact and have not officially been disclosed, but it was confirmed that there were fatalities from the shootings. On CNN Live, the governor of Lagos State made some things known to the world in a live interview. He admitted that the video was valid, stating that the men who shot the peaceful protesters were in uniform. He also said that the CCTV cameras were present at the location where it happened and will be provided to the judicial panel. When asked if the military personnel would be brought to justice, he said that he would try to bring them to justice, but he is not the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Therefore, he cannot say that they will be brought to justice. On his own end, he will try as much to get justice, but he doesn't have the power of the commander, that is the president. Meanwhile, Sanwon Lu had earlier said that there was no blood stain on the area where it happened, but now he had admitted that the videos were valid. I said these guys said they don't understand, they don't know what is coming from them. He, the first time the incident happened, that Tuesday, 20th, that he happened, someone only came out, there are no casualties, no blood. How can you say that there is no blood stain in a place where lives were lost and the videos were going around? You can even imagine what they are trying to do right now. They want to shut the media houses so that they don't speak up, so that um, Nigerians will be silent. You know, in all of this that we do here, um, when you share the news, it goes out. Everyone gets informed of what is going on. Because obviously not everyone was present at the Lekki toll gate, but with the use of media houses, we were able to get um, the, the, what the happenings, all the things that went down at the Lekki toll gate. Right now, they, they said they placed a fine on AIT, Channels and TV, and Arise TV, all because they covered Lekki toll gate massacre. And they are claiming right now that um, Channels Television and AIT, that they were responsible, that they are the ones responsible for the violence. These guys are truly unbelievable. After uh, uh, they denied, after the army denied, on live interview, CNN interview, someone who openly admits that military were responsible. It's so sad. It's so unbelievable. But what I'm grateful to God for, what I'm really excited about is that the generation that we are now are not silent. And these guys, they don't know what is coming for them. Nigerians are ready to speak up. Hashtag end to bad governance. No more bad governors. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take. Thank you once again for um, staying tuned. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well till I come your way again. Bye for now and God bless.